Hi, my name is Jenny Roberts and I'm Curl Smith Global Brand Ambassador. And I'm Charlie and I'm the lead educator for Curl Smith. And this video is all about how to use the effortless waves. So I've prepped Prashi's hair, I've um, cleansed it, I've conditioned it and I've left a leave-in conditioner of my choice in here. And you can see her hair is already forming in clumps of waves and that's brilliant. That's exactly how we want it to look before we start prepping it with our effortless waves. So I'm gonna start sectioning it off so we can uh, prep it evenly. Right, so let's talk a little bit about the effortless wave. So it is a styler. So as you mentioned before, Jenny, you do apply it after your leave-in conditioner. Mm -hmm. It's got a very light hold, so it's hold level three. It's got lots of key ingredients in there that make this product so amazing. So we've got chai seed and linseed, which really helps to define those waves and reduces frizz. And then we have squeezed aloe vera juice nice. also, Good. and that helps to nourish the hair and moisturize the hair. So it's really, really moisturizing and nourishing style and it belongs in the moisture recipe yeah range. i can you feel see. it it's really hydrating you can see straight yeah, away look at that we've got really brilliant clumps and that's what we want and that's why we have to do it in sections if we were to spray it on the hair as a whole you wouldn't be getting that even distribution and you can see already the hair's like pumping up yeah. right you can see the definition yeah. straight away and that's just what, from that's what we need that's what we're looking for those kind of clumps of waves and that's what we're capturing we're capturing those waves and what's great about this styler is, you know, as in the title, it's effortless. So it's a one and done styler. You just spray it through the mid lengths and ends as you are, work it into each section and you just see the definition um, coming through. Because you can see now at the minute, there's a little bit of frizz within yeah. there. As soon as you spray this on and work it through, that just basically disappears. And I'm doing mid lengths to ends because I don't want to put it really on the roots. I can distribute it with my fingers through the roots but I don't really want to put it on the roots too much because it doesn't really need it. And then just smooth it. See how I'm smoothing? This is a really important bit, to smooth out all the frizzy bits, just like that, and to clumps or ribbons of waves, whatever you want to call it. But so you see some that kind of definition coming through here, and you can see we've got nice ribbons going on. And the smoother you make them to start with in your preparation, the smoother they will dry. Now, sometimes you can make your hair so smooth that you lose some volume, um, but you can get that volume back at the end by just smashing it up a little bit, putting your fingers through it and doing a little bit of, I call it in my natural backcombing, which then just kind of gives it more um, life and personality. And then just going back to the hold level of the product, it's hold level number three, and we describe that as an invisible hold. And what that means is you do get some hold in there, but it doesn't leave like a cast on the yeah. hair. Because if you, you know, when you've got wavy hair or you're new to your wavy hair, you don't necessarily want to feel like you've got a lot of product no, in there. It's going to feel so, too crunchy, isn't it? If we put exactly. something on it that's, that um, needs releasing the cast. And that's why we've got those key ingredients in there to um, prevent the hair from be feeling crunchy or yeah. crispy. You just get that sort of soft, that soft moisturised look. Yeah, yeah, basically the soft effortless look. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm just detangling with my fingers now. I don't detangle at this point with a brush because she's already got products in her hair, the leave-in conditioner. If I pull it through and put lots of tension on with a, a regular detangling tool, there's a good chance that I'm gonna make her hair really limp because I've stretched it and put too much tension on it. So at this point now, everything is with fingers and we're just encouraging her natural um, wave and spring. So even though it feels like there's quite a few sprays going in each section, what we need to take into consideration is the length of hair and how much hair is actually on her head. Also, it's such a fine mist that comes out. If I just show them, Jenny, into your hand, literally, there's not a lot on there. See, there's not a lot there really. It's just a suggestion, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> At this point, and don't forget that she's already got product here as well to give her a little bit of hold, and this will just give her more kind of bounce and effortless waves. It's great. It's doing its job. It's it's looking fab. Yeah, so no matter whether you've got loose, medium, tight waves, um, it works well. Whether you've got high porosity, low porosity, yeah. it's for all types all of wavy all hair. All types of hair. And also, you can pop it in your hand if you need to. Just pop it 
through and just making sure, I'm just making sure I'm smoothing as many fuzzies down as I can. I don't mind fuzzies at the end, but right now I want it really defined and smooth. And you can see already, she's got loads of definition in there. I'm gonna get some really good waves here. So I can see that you've been using a few different techniques as you apply the product. So can you just explain what you're doing? Yeah, well, I'm just finger raking now. And I'm doing this because it's not putting a huge amount of tension on her hair, so it's not pulling out her natural wave. If I were to use a tool or a brush or a comb, I might be pulling out her natural wave too much and it might not spring back. So just by finger raking, I'm keeping the, back, the body in her hair. And then I'm just kind of scrunching it up a little bit just to encourage the natural wave. You know, you can shake it, you can scrunch it, whatever suits your hair best. But that's why I'm doing it, just to kind of, just encourage a bit of oomph in her hair. Yeah. <laughs> And I think it's, you know, it's good for um, everyone with wavy hair to have a clear understanding of the different techniques, like you've mentioned, raking and scrunching, just so, you know, you know which ones work for you and why you're doing them. Yeah, I mean, scrunching and raking is a kind of a universal thing we do to yeah. curly hair anyway, regardless of, regardless of our hair texture. It just kind of gives it a little bit of encouragement because it's, it's quite a soft wave. So it's just encouraging it a little. Yeah, I do love the scrunching method for wavy hair because like you say, it enhances the wave. Yeah. So whether you've got a medium, loose or tight wave, it's always nice to give it that extra bit of oomph. Yeah, so detangling in order to get those clamps and smoothing. Detangling, yeah, it's a smoothing process really. So if you've got any loops, any knots, try and get them all out as smooth as you can. And when I've smoothed it out, I've kind of straightened it a little bit. So that's why I then kind of scrunch it up a little. Yeah. Just to encourage those waves again after they've been pulled out by the detangling. So although it's a styler, like I was saying before, with that invisible hold that gives you all that definition and reduces the frizz, for those that did want, you know, a bit more hold, you can layer it with one of our gel stylers mm. as well. That is an option. So if you did find you wanted a little bit more, yeah. then feel free to layer with one of our gel stylers. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea because some people, if they've got heavier hair mm. or their cuticles slightly more coarse, they will need a little bit of extra smoothing. Yeah. So that's a really good idea, just to kind of use that over the top. And some wavy girls really like those stylers where you can feel that cast on there. The, so yeah. it's nice to have the option whether yeah. you get that or not. Yeah, that's what's great about Curlsmith. You can just layer and layer and layer all the beautiful products over the top. God, look at that definition through there. Yeah. It looks so nice. It does, it looks great even before we tried it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see, you can see all of that detangling and scrunching, you can see why we've done it because you, you've got yeah. lots and lots of layers of waves now rather than just being one big wave like this. Yeah. What we've done is we've made lots and lots of layers so as it dries, it will it'll, expand as yeah, well. It'll be fuller, won't it? Yeah. And also talking about drying, so we were going to diffuse it today. And again, sort of like what you were doing with the scrunching method with your hands, we'd be doing that with the dryer, with yeah. the pixie. Yeah, we'll be diffusing. using that. Yeah. We're using the dryer just to kind of hold it up and give it a bit of support as it's drying. And really enhance that way. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So let's move on to the drying stage. Okay, so this is Prashi's hair finished yeah. with the effortless waves. And look how fabulous it looks. We get a really good finish like this because we prepared well. And it's really important. That's why through the videos we've said how to use a product, how to distribute it, yeah. and where to place it in the hair and how to dry the hair. And this is the reason that we say that. Because if you prepare well, you'll get a really good finish. I mean, look at that definition and shine, and you can also see that it's really moisturised as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm absolutely thrilled from the results of using the Effortless Waves. Yeah, it's That's fabulous, perfect. isn't it? Yeah. It speaks for itself. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe.